Welcome to metric to metric conversion without using math. That is, we're going to go from one metric unit to another metric unit by moving the decimal point. This is problem set number four. It's made for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. Let's review the six steps before we start on the problem. Step number one, know what you have. Know where your starting unit is and know where the decimal point is for that starting unit. Then number two, draw your number line and find that same decimal point where you're starting on that number line. Step number three, find this number or write this number on the number line. That is transfer the number that you have been given and put it on the number line. Step number four, find where you are going. You should know what the new unit is on the number line. Step number five, find the new decimal point for this unit that you're looking for. And then step number six, the blanks in between fill in with zero. Okay, so let's start on the problem. The problem is 0 0.0795 CL. I want you to convert that to KL, which is kiloliter, to liters, to milliliters, and to microliters. Pause the video and come back when you are ready. I will go through the solutions then. Okay, let's take this problem one at a time. Step number one, start with what you have. What do you have? You have CL. Where is the decimal point in this given problem? It's pretty obvious, it's right here. So this is the decimal point. Step number two, draw your number line. Here it is. Remember, you got to come with this on your own on the test. It will not be provided. Next step, find the column that you're given. In this problem, here it is. Centiliter will be in this column. When we are in this column, know where the decimal point is. Well, in this column, the decimal point would be to the right, which is here. Okay. So that's the decimal point with the given problem. Next step, bring this number into the number line. If this is the same decimal point as that, then one space to the right of the decimal point is the number zero. Remember, each of these blank can only hold one digit. So therefore, one space to the right of the decimal point is zero. This is zero. And then comes the number seven. And then comes the number nine and the number five. Okay, so you have to bring this number into your number line. Next step, find the unit you're interested in. Well, in this part case, it's KL. Find the unit on the number line. Here it is. This is where you want to take it. When we are in this unit, find the new decimal point. Remember, the decimal point is always to the right of this unit. So the new decimal point will be here. Okay? And then lastly, fill in the blanks with zero. So all of these gets zero. One, two, three, four, five zeros. Now you might be wondering, what do I do with this decimal point? Ignore it. Okay? It doesn't exist. Just ignore it. Why are we ignoring this? Because this decimal point is only important if you're interested in this column. But we're not. We're not interested in this column. We are interested in this column. So when we are in this column, this is the decimal point you should be concerned with. So how do you write this answer? Well, I'm going to write over here because the space is too small. The answer is point one two three four five six zero one two three four five six zero and then seven nine five. Okay, that's the answer. I know it looks really funny, but that's the answer. Okay, hopefully you got that right. Let's move on to the next problem. Okay, here's the next problem. I want you to take this number and bring it to liter. Okay, let's go through the six steps. Step number one, know what you're starting at. You're starting with CL. 
and the decimal point is already given. It's right here. Step number two, draw your number line. Remember, the number line has to be drawn by you. We will not provide it. With this number line, now you find where your starting point is. Your starting point is CL. So here it is. This is going to be your starting point. When you are in this centiliter column, where is the decimal point? To the right. Okay, the answer is always to the right. In this column, the new decimal point is going to be here. I'm sorry, in this column, the decimal point is going to be there. Okay, next step. Understand that this decimal point and that decimal point is the same thing. Okay, so all these numbers are written to the right of the decimal point. So you're going to bring this number up here. Understand that each of these spaces only holds one digit. So I'm going to write point zero seven nine five like that okay that's the same number as that step um, the next step would be find where you're going where do you want to go you want to go to the leader column here it is the leader column where is this decimal point when you're in the leader column right here okay always to the right so this is the new decimal point we're interested in and next step, fill in the blanks with zero. So you have two blanks right now. And then the answer is available. I'm going to write this answer as point three zeros, one, two, three zeros, and then seven, nine, five. Leader is the answer. Okay? Hope you got that problem right. Let's move to the next problem. Okay, here's the next problem. I want you to take this number in centiliter and bring it to milliliter. Okay, following the same six steps I mentioned before, know where your starting point is. Your starting point is centiliter. And your starting decimal point is right here. So, put an X there. Go find centiliter on the time on the number line that you are drawing. Here's the number line that you have uh, have written. Remember, come up with this on your own. It will not be provided on the test. When we are in this number line, centi is in this column here. If this is the centi column, you have to know where the decimal point is for this column, and in this case, it's always to the right. So. Here's the decimal point. Understand that this decimal point and this decimal point is the same thing. So, four spaces to the right are the numbers. Same thing. Four spaces to the right of the decimal point will be the number. So, I bring it up here. Zero, seven, nine, five. Next step. Where do we want to go? We want to go to ML. Find this on the number line. Here you go. This is the ML okay, column. So, when we are in the ML column, where is the new decimal point going to be? It's going to be over here. So, in essence, you're bringing this decimal point over one. Okay? So, your answer now, because we don't really have any zeros to fill in, the answer is already written as 0 0.795. Remember, ignore this decimal point because it doesn't apply. It only applies when you're interested in this column. Okay, so that's the answer. I hope you got it right. Let's go on to the next problem. Okay, here's the next problem. I want you to take this number in centiliter and bring it to microliters, okay, using the same six steps. Step number one, know what you have. What do you have? You have centiliter. Find a decimal point. There it is. So your starting point is here. Draw your number line. Here it is. Make sure you can do this on your own because it will not be provided on the test. 
in this number line, you're going to find the column of interest, which is centi right here. Now, I want you to know that if you are in this column, where is the decimal point? The decimal point is always to the right. So in the centi column, the decimal point for the centi column is here. Now, the next step is to bring the number that you're given into the number line. The number that you're given has a decimal point and four digits. Come back to the number line. That's the same decimal point, which means four digits to the right of the decimal point are these numbers. So write it in. 0, 7, 9, 5. Next step. Where are you going? You want to know the answers in microliters. So go back to the number line and find out where that column is. That column is over here. Microliter has the decimal point to the right of it. So the new decimal point is now going to be here. And now there are no blanks left to fill in with zero, so you have your answer. The answer is 7, 9, 5 microliters. Okay, I hope you got that right. And that's it. That's the end of this problem set.